So I've seen this product on the market for quite some time and it is stainless steel paint. So we are in need of a new dishwasher and possibly microwave depending on if this works or not. So we figured we might as well take the risk and see if the stainless steel paint actually works because like I said, our dishwasher is broken and it's a very tiny size. So we figured once there's a good sale, we'll get a new one. So I thought it would be really fun to try out this product. So I found this product on Amazon for I think $23. I'll link it down below. So what I started off by doing is I taped off whatever I don't want to be painted and then I took some sandpaper and went over the whole microwave. This part was scary because if the microwave ends up looking good, we would love to keep it. So I was a little nervous about this. Um, next, the directions say to take window cleaner and to clean off the microwave. It's very specifically with window cleaner. I'm not really sure why. I guess it gets the grease off well. So now I was just cleaning off the um, dishwasher and doing the same to that. I also decided to put plastic everywhere because we were doing this inside. I was kind of struggling there and then the little lid fell off. Um, but anyway, we were doing this inside because it was snowing outside. So we couldn't really take things off and do this outside. But definitely if it's summer, I would probably recommend taking the doors off your microwave or dishwasher and doing this out there. But I taped it up really well so we didn't have any incidences where this went on the counter or anything like that. So now I'm just taking a white primer spray paint and I'm just going over the microwave with that and then I'm also going over the dishwasher with that. And I did end up doing two coats of this primer. You definitely could use a paint primer, but I just felt like the spray paint was gonna be so much easier, and it was. I've also never used a spray paint primer before. I've always just used like bin or something like that. So I was very hesitant on it, but it worked so well. So now I just taped the dishwasher off, and for the next step for the dishwasher is I'm going to spray paint everything black. And now they do have appliance um, spray paint, um, that comes in black but I ended up just going with the one that's made specifically for plastic and other materials like that because I felt like it would stick better and it's stuck so amazingly and I've been able to clean the dishwasher and I haven't had any um, weird like cases of it like falling off or anything like that so that was great. So I let this sit overnight because I didn't want to tamper with the spray paint and risk ruining it or anything like that. So at this point, I definitely recommend taking a picture of what your dishwasher says because there's lots of cycles on there and everything like that and we're gonna be painting over it. So make sure you guys have that on hand so you don't forget. The tape that I used is really great when it comes to painting walls, but it was not so great when it came to spray paint and the rest of this project. So I kept having issues where I had to go back in and kind of resand some areas and stuff like that, as you guys can see. But here is the product, the star of the show. Like I said, I got this from Amazon for $23. I was very skeptical of it. I didn't really think it would work or even look like stainless steel because it's just paint and I didn't think it would be possible. But what I loved about this product is that it comes with the brush. And if you guys have ever seen my video before where I redid a bathtub with a product from Amazon, um, that product did not come with the brush, so I really appreciated that this one did. So this one comes with the top coat and the base coat, which is awesome. So I just gave the first coat um, a really good shake because they said it might be kind of lumpy. So this is what it looks like. It's very sparkly and iridescent. And it made me kind of nervous because I didn't think, again, it would look like stainless because it just kind of looks like little kid's paint. But then um, I just took some chopsticks because that's all I had and we had sushi for dinner the night before and I just mix this up really well. So now I've taped off I've taped off everything that was black that I didn't want to get painted um, with the stainless steel paint and I was so nervous to do the first coat of this. So what the instructions say is to first go from left to right for your first coat. 
My first wipe, I didn't end up doing this only because there was too much paint on the brush so I kind of had to go back and forth. The tricky part about the dishwasher was doing the sides of the dishwasher. If you have one of those um, dishwasher that just has like a flat face and isn't kind of rounded like this, it's probably a little bit easier than this one, I guess. I don't know. Um, definitely it would be a lot easier though had we taken the dishwasher apart and maybe did this flat or did this outside because I had to keep opening it up. But the process was easy and unlike the bathtub paint that I used, um, this one didn't have a bad odor to it. It literally just smelled like paint where the bathtub paint I had to open up all the windows and the fumes made me very dizzy. So now I'm putting on the second coat of paint and um, the second coat was going on very light. They recommend that you do all of your coats very light, which is what I did. Um, and then the last coat I ended up doing pretty heavy. But anyway, here I'm just taking a small paintbrush to get around um, this knob and that was probably the most difficult part of it all was just getting around all the little buttons and everything. I ended up painting over those two lights on the dishwasher that would light up red because I was just kind of over it and I didn't care that much. Last coat is officially on and it actually looks really good. The next step I'm not too sure what to do with. I had a couple ideas. So on the front of the dishwasher, obviously there were spots where it said, um, said like pots, one said normal, like basically all the different cycles. So at first I thought I would take my handy dandy little label maker and I thought it would be cute to just make little labels. This is an embossed label um, maker. So it makes labels that look like this one and just like 3D basically and it's really cute. Um, so I started that but the issue is that it makes the words really far apart. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but our dishwasher is like a mini dishwasher. It's not even a normal size. So I think that eventually when we do get a new dishwasher, we'll probably get a normal size one because there's plenty of room for it. Um, so the issue though is that it kind of spreads the words out really far and we don't have enough room for it. So I can show you guys. Basically like this, is like one button but it goes over the like button you know what i mean and this is like the shortest word that there was the other word was normal and it just it wouldn't have all fit right here my next option was um i had connor pick up some of these sharpies with the little ultra fine point at the end and i was just gonna write it on i don't really have good handwriting though so i was just gonna try my best but I'm starting to think I might just leave a blank for right now um, until I can find a better solution or I might have my friend Brianna, if, hi Bri, if you're watching this, come over because she is really good handwriting um, and she can like make her writing look like any type of like script or font. So I might have her come over at some point and write it because I just don't want to mess it up. Um, or I was thinking too, I could go to like Michael's or something like that and then just buy like really tiny little letters and like little letter stickers and then just stick those on. So I do have a few options. So I think I'm going to leave that blank, but basically the next step is to put on the clear coat and then once the clear coat is on, you can put as many layers of that on as you want until you like the finished gloss. Um, and then I'm going to peel off all the paint and show you guys what it looks like. So like I mentioned, this is the gloss coat or the final coat that goes on. You can put as many coats of this on as you would like. The more you put on, the glossier your finish will be. I ended up only putting one coat on because I really liked how the finish looked, but I'll have to see in the morning if I want to add more. So funny story, while I was fil filming this video, I was starting to not feel so great. Um, probably like a few scenes back and turns out I had the flu so that's why I didn't post anything last week I was so excited to get this project done and it was just sitting halfway done in my kitchen for almost a full week before I got back into it today and today I'm finally feeling better so I just went full force into this and I wanted to just get it done for you guys to show you and I also wanted to get it done for myself so I could see what it looked like. So 
just keep away from germs and just keep washing your hands everyone because it was not fun at all but anyway i'm just applying this clear coat now to um the microwave and just going over it i applied the clear coat in a pretty thick layer i didn't really do it lightly um and once again this pesky tape just did not do such a great job um so i'll show you guys how i fix that later and at this point I was kind of freaking out because as you guys can see on the microwave, there is so much paint and I've never had this issue before. So it was very um, new to me and kind of frustrating. So I went to Lowe's and I found this Goo Gone latex paint. This is actually a water-based paint, but it came off with this. So I just kind of layered this onto the paint and I let it sit on there for a few minutes and then I couldn't find a razor blade so I had um, like this little like stapler thing or like the staples that were just in a bunch so I just took that and scraped off the paint and it worked like a charm and it looked beautiful so now I just took some of the black spray paint and I just am touching up all of the areas that um, got some of the silver stainless on it all right, it's time for the reveal. You ready, Willie? Ta-da! Okay, this actually looks amazing. I'm not sure if I should have painted the vent um, stainless or not. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know, but let me know and maybe I'll paint it stainless if you guys say I should. But I am so shocked at how good this looks and you guys can see the stainless appliance underneath it compared to this and it looks just like it. So now here is the dishwasher which also looks amazing. I think that the microwave looks a little bit better. I think what's throwing me, well maybe what's just throwing me off about the microwave or the dishwasher rather is that we don't have any of the words on it so it just like looks very weird and empty. But I think that if we were to put the words on it, it would probably look back to normal. I am really impressed with it. The only issue I had with this, with the dishwasher, like I mentioned, was that um, the tape was just horrible. So it made it very hard to like fill in everything. Um, but this microwave looks so good. I'm really impressed with how it came out and then the tape or the um, paint remover that I used worked so well and really took off all of that excess paint. Um, so like the finish of it feels, it uh, doesn't really feel like stainless I guess because stainless is like a little bit more slippery than this. Um, but it has a really nice finish to it and I only ended up putting one coat of like the final gloss on and I'm sure if you put multiple coats on it would probably have more of a um, like smooth feel like the stainless but it's just not rough or anything like that um, but overall I would definitely do this again or if you guys are like in an apartment and you just want like an easy fix you guys just don't want to spend money right now I think it's such a great fix because it instantly made our kitchen look so much better and I'm very impressed with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!